Well, swing on into the Pleasure Lady's kitchen today, and she's going to show you how to make cracked pretzels. Yes, I said cracked pretzels. So, grab a hold of that vine, and let's swing on into the kitchen, and let's get started. Well, good day, YouTubers. Today, I'm going to make a special treat. I'm going back down memory lane for my husband and myself. Um... We had some good neighbors who owned a bar, and we lived right next to them, man. John and Cheryl always made these excellent pretzels, and she called them crack pretzels. And I figured I want to make them, and I wanted to share this recipe with all of you. So let's go ahead and let's get started. What you're going to be needing is a regular size bag of pretzels. Well, I don't have the regular size. I have a value bag, so I would be using half of this bag. With that being said, you're going to want to sit there and put the half that bag of pretzels in a Ziploc baggie. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do that. All right, I have half the pretzels in my Ziploc baggie. Now we're just going to set that off to the side. We're going to grab ourselves a bowl, put that down, and to that you're going to want to be adding one teaspoon of cayenne pepper, And then you're going to be needing one teaspoon of lemon pepper. And I do have a video on how to make your own lemon pepper. I'll be sure to put that up in the eye card. Ooh, I'm just a little bit shy of the one teaspoon. But that's all right. I can do, I can do. And then... Now this is the real sweet part. Now, she's made it two different ways. You can either use a packet of the Good Seasons Italian uh, salad dressing, or you could use the Good Seasons packet of ranch dressing. Well, today I'm gonna be making the Italian way. So go ahead, grab that, and put a package of that in, and I have some homemade. I really prefer to have the homemade, but I have this and I want to use this up so I free up a space on my seasoning shelf. So go ahead and add a package of that. Then you're going to be needing one and a half teaspoons of garlic powder. And the very last ingredient we're going to be needing is three-fourths cup of some good oil. As soon as I measure it all out, I'll show you it. All right, I have the three-fourths cup of oil. And now let's dump that into the bowl with all the other seasonings. Now, go ahead, give this all a good mix. And make sure you get it all mixed up very good. You don't want no clumps or anything, so just take your time at working on getting all the clumps out. Now, we're ready to sit there and take the oil mixture with all the seasonings. And I like to fold my edges of my bag over. 
I'm not a fan of getting all goofed up, folks. So, I'm gonna give this all one good last stir. Go ahead, pour that all in. Get every last little bit of goodness from inside here. Zip up your bag and make sure you hear that little zip closure. <laughs> and now just sit there and take your pretzels with that spicy, oily mixture. And we're going to want to sit there and cool all our pretzels up. So go ahead and just take your time and make sure that you get every one of them to get some of that goodness on it. And then what we do, just set that off to the side, leave it set. It's best if you let this set overnight or 24 hours. So I think that's what I'm going to be doing. And when the 24 hours is up, we'll be back and I'll show you how we do the rest. Well, let's get to baking them crack pretzels and folks it's been 48 hours since I mixed it all up and these are all nice and set up it's okay that you let them sit for 48 hours they're perfectly fine in fact I think they taste better when you leave them sit for a longer period of time now go ahead and Spread these all out on your baking sheet. I'm going to have to do another baking sheet full. Okay, now put these in a 200 degree oven and we're going to bake them for 40 minutes. So in 40 minutes, I'll see you. My oven has sounded off, so let's go ahead and let's get the crack pretzels out and put them in a serving dish. I brought the serving dish over. Now let me grab a big old spoon to help me scoop these all up with and transfer them into our serving dish. And John and Cheryl, thank you for sharing your cracked pretzel recipe with me because we always enjoyed it at your bar that you guys all owned. And thank you for all the good times that we all had in Daddy's rec room there. And in your memory, I'm going to sit there and do a shot and have some pretzels and have some beer along with my cracked pretzels. So, thank you, my dear son. You want to do a shot with mom? <laughs> sure, he would do it if it was a shot of Patron, but... Daddy, can't wait to see you back home. And John and Cheryl, thank you for sharing. And to you all out there, happy opening day. I hope your team wins. And that's how easy it is to make cracked pretzels. So if you like what you saw here today, go down below, hit the like button, go up above, hit the subscribe button, tap that little bell. That way you always be notified every time the Pleasure Lady here puts out a new video. But most of all, thank you for stopping by and taking the time to watch my video. Y'all come back now, you hear?